that scripture way in the back, back there somewhere. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll be between uh, Second Thessalonians, I believe, and Titus, maybe or something. Praise the Lord. First Timothy. Um, First Timothy, the sixth chapter. I'm going to begin reading at verse number three. I'll read a few more verses. I won't talk on all of them, but I'll read a few more verses tonight because they're there. Amen. Um, Amen. First Timothy, the sixth chapter, uh, verse number three says, um, If any man teach otherwise and uh, consent not to hold some words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness that he is proud knowing nothing but doting about um, questions and strifes of words whereof come in envy strife railings and e evil surmising Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we, for we brought nothing into this world. And it is uh, certain that we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us uh, be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. Mm -hmm. For the love of money yes. is the root of all evil, yes. which while some coveted after, uh -huh. they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yes. But thou, O oh man of God, yes. Flee these things Amen. and follow out the righteousness, godliness, uh -huh. faith, yeah. love, uh -huh. patience, yeah. Yeah. meekness. Yeah. Fight yeah. the good fight of faith. Yeah. Lay hold on eternal yeah. life, whereunto thou art also called yeah. and has uh, professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God who quickened all things and before Jesus Christ who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession that thou keep this uh, commandment without spot unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ which in his times he shall slay, or shall show who is the blessed and only pontifex, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only have uh, immortality dwelling in the light, which no man can approach, whom no man have seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power, everlasting, amen. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God uh, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy but charge them that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to dis distribute 
willing to communicate, that means share, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 That they may lay hold on eternal uh, life. Amen. Verse 12, he says, in the midst of all of that, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Just want to talk tonight about fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. 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 And all of that. Paul writes to his son in the ministry, Timothy, young preacher who was to conduct the churches while Paul himself was in prison and uh, facing death. Yes. And yet his concern was not about himself, yes. but about the church and those who Amen. would confess Christ. Yes. That they too would know how to live yes. and get their reward. Yes. And we know that rewards is something that everybody seeks. Yes. Everybody likes to be rewarded for one thing or another. In fact, some folk won't do nothing for you until he asks you, what's in it for me? Amen. Everybody at a young age like to be rewarded. In psychology, they teach that that's how you train children, how you train animals by giving them rewards. I was talking to a man one day about my dogs, and he said, well, I don't feed my dogs. They have to earn it. Amen. Even just that regular food. But we're taught that, you know, when they do something good, you yeah. give them snacks. Y'all ain't saying that. And when they do something not so good, you give them the opposite of snacks. Yeah. Maybe you give them snacks. I don't know. But we have to understand that God is a reward. Yeah. The scripture yeah. says he's coming quickly and he has his reward yeah. in his hand. Don't let nobody fool you into thinking that God is not a rewarder. Yeah. All that what you're doing is all in vain. Amen. Sometimes we cause what we're doing to be in vain yeah. because we lose sight of what God requires yeah. and we lose the faith that God requires from us. Yeah. Everything in our relationship with God has to be about faith. You cannot love him without faith. Because the scripture says, how can you love God who you never seen? Uh -huh. And hate your brother who you right. see every right. day. This faith is different because it's one thing to tell folk you love somebody and be able to show them to them. You know what I'm saying? Man? Be able to show them why you love them and, and let them get a good look at them. You know what I'm saying? Man? And perhaps say, I'll see why you love her. I'll see why you love him. But to love a God who you never see, you got to have some faith. It's got to be settled in your mind. I didn't say to love to go to church, but to love God. And to trust God, you got to have faith to believe that God is God. Uh, the scripture said that without faith it's uh, impossible to please right. God. Because they that would come to him must faith believe that he exists. And that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek out for him. Paul in his letter to Timothy addresses some concern yes. in the church where there were different classes of believers. Uh -huh. There were some folk who were rich yeah. and some folk who were poor. Uh -huh. And for some reason it just seemed that most rich folk are indifferent about poor folk. Y'all yeah. you know ain't saying that. Yeah. They're not concerned about whether or not you eat at night before you go to sleep as long as they can have caviar and T-bones and the like. They're not worried about whether your lights are turned on or off as long as they can sit and look at the stars from their penthouses. As long as they can have light all around them, they're not concerned about other folks. Many of them have 
The mind said, I got mine. Oh, now you got yours. Yeah. Never mind the fact that all the time they are the very reason why you can't get yours. I, it bothers me to see an 80 year old man trimming on a job, talking about young folk don't want to work. Y'all ain't saying Perhaps at least one could come if you go home. Y'all got to go. They got all their lessons. All right, all right. You talking about worrying about your retirement years. I'm in my retirement years. I ain't saving up to retire. I'm retiring. Whatever, whatever I have, that's just what I got. Imagine being as kind-hearted as God. 
because they can't imagine being as benevolent as God. Some folk because they cannot imagine being as merciful as God. They want you to believe or try to convince you that God is not God. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. Some folk, they cannot disprove who God is. Yeah. So the best, next best thing is to shake your faith. Amen. Amen. I told you the other day, I'm really concerned as to why folk who have decided that they don't believe in God, why does it bother them that we do? Amen. I'm on YouTube listening to messages and watching spiritual things. Somebody always coming on there talking about the Bible is fake. Well, what were you looking for? You, you don't believe in God and your whole, you spend your time trying to prove that folk who do believe God that it ain't no God. Something is wrong with that. But folk will do that. They'll tell you that. We had a sister who used to go here, and folk would tell her, she telling her boyfriend about, she thank God for this, and she thank God for that, and he telling her, God don't give me this, I go to work. Paul says, free from that foolishness. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And maybe God didn't put it in your hand. But his word says, him that give you the power to obtain wealth. And you ain't the only one with the word. Y'all ain't saying that. You're not the only one that put in for a job. And there are some folk who make just as much money and ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't saying that. And there are some folk who don't make no money, who don't work nowhere, and got more than you got. All right. Some folk, he said, get the big head. And try to convince you that you can have what you want without God. And depending on what it is you want, perhaps you can. You can probably have anything you want without God. But let me tell you, you can't enjoy it without God. All right, all right. And you know, there's some folk who have set some high goals. Yeah. You know, I have set some high standards and, yeah. and, and, and made some great challenges and fulfilled all of them. But even in fulfilling them, they still got to find something else to go on that bucket. They got to find something else. And normally after a while, it don't even make sense. Uh -huh. yeah. Which I marvel that folks who them finally got rich and got the house they want and the cars they want and gonna go uh, skydiving. You know, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go through all that to get something. I'm gonna do all I can to live and enjoy. You know, I, ain't, I ain't trying to do no foolish stuff, but, but the, the Bible said the eyes of man are never satisfied. Yeah. Don't care what you already have. Right. You're always right. looking for something else. Yeah. You always want more. It's, it's more, yeah. give me more. Yeah. Amen. Then the stuff you thought was going to satisfy you, uh, the new smell ain't even wore off and you're tired of it already. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some stuff they ain't even took out the box. Mm. And you thought that would be what would satisfy you. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon love folk like that. Y'all ain't saying that. <laughs> Walmart love folk like that. Yeah. Uh, he said some of them who are proud and knowing nothing, doting about questions and strives of words. They are folk like that who simply say they don't believe in God and, and want the, you to explain to them all the dynamics about God. How could he be born to a virgin? I don't know how he could be born to a virgin other than the fact that the scripture said it happened. Amen. Right. If the first man was born without a woman at all, y'all ain't right. saying that. Right. I know a man right. could be born without a man. Amen. You know, really, God could do however he wanted to do. I mean, really, he could make men be pregnant. He could make you get pregnant from drinking water. But if whatever he chose, he got something consistent so that when he did something inconsistent, y'all ain't saying so that you wouldn't have no other choice but to believe that he's God and he's got all power. Why don't you use a random system of folk to be born? Yeah. Yeah. Come up with something you can understand and you can plan out. Y'all better get this. Came down yeah. in the form of a baby. Yeah. Took on flesh. Yeah. In his own way, not our way. All right. You don't have to do 
stuff that we understand. And don't you feel guilty about not being able to explain to folk what God do. I'm not responsible for what God does. I don't have to explain what God does because God doesn't have to explain it to me. Y'all And whatever God says, whatever his word says, whether it makes sense to you, I don't mean whatever his word says, I accept his word. But you don't understand something. Don't make it not real. Yeah. Don't make it not right. Simply because you don't understand it. See, they uh, folk who got wealth and feel like they don't need God will turn around and try to make you think that you don't need God. Now, money you can have and money will come and money will go. Yeah. In fact, if you don't believe it, the easier it comes, the easier it goes. Yeah. The faster it comes, the faster it goes. And that's why some folk make real fast money. And when they make that fast, easy money, them the quickest folk you ever see to go broke. Go have million dollar contracts, yeah. multi-million dollar contracts, yeah. and two years later you broke. Yeah. This is why I told you we have to bring up our children yeah. in the admonition and nourishment of God. Yeah. Teach them what's right in the sight of God. Because absent of that, even if they become what you call successful, it won't benefit you. Right. In fact, it won't even benefit them eventually or ultimately Amen. because they will still turn around and lose it all. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, a, a fool is a bad thing, and one thing worse than a, a fool is a rich fool. Y'all understand? Like you start buying stuff, and they ain't got sense enough to try to count and keep records. Yeah. yeah. And when you get broke, talking about somebody cheated you. Ain't nobody cheat you when you were buying stuff that didn't make no sense because couldn't nobody else buy. That's what cheated you. You cheated your own. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. He said, uh, perverse disputes of men of corrupt minds. And they're destitute of the truth. Listen, they got, they got all they need. You know, physically, they got a lot of stuff and things, but it didn't say they don't know the truth. He said they are destitute of the truth. They are without truth at all. And you think you want to run into somebody that can have a foolish mind, somebody that cannot accept the truth about God, the notion that God is in control of this world. Things are not just happening by chance. They're destitute of the truth. Uh -huh. And he said, they supposing that gain is godliness. Yes. This is something that folk have said. They have marginalized our faith and mm. said that, that if we were Christians, if we were saved, if we were believers, that we ought to have something. Mm -hmm. You know, there are folk who uh, think that because you got houses and stuff and things that that mean that you're in a right relationship with God and God is pleased with you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something and share something with you. Though the scriptures say every good and perfect gift yeah. comes from above, but yeah. now, it didn't say every gift comes from around. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The devil can't give you stuff. He got stuff to give yeah. because yeah. the scriptures say he's the prince of this world. He, yeah. he, he has the power and the authority. That's why he tried to cut the deal with Jesus yeah. when Jesus had fasted. Y'all know what right. And right. he told him, if you'll bow down and worship me, yeah. all All right. Because Jesus understood that if he didn't bow down and worship, they'd be his anyway. Yeah. And ain't nothing, you know, every good and perfect gift. When you can get stuff the, the worldly way, you can get stuff the way the world offers it, the way the devil offers it. But ain't nothing like 
the peace that comes with getting something that comes from God, that allows God to bless you according to his word, according to his will, and according to his way to go. I don't have to watch out for the repossessors. Y'all ain't saying, I don't have to watch out for folk coming and get me, put me in jail for stuff that I got. Because God is able to bless you abundantly. God is able to supply to his riches and gold. Yeah. Not according to Son Bank or Central Credit. Yeah. But according to his riches and gold. Yeah. You know, banks go bankrupt. Yeah. <laughs> but God's riches will last forever. Amen. They're destitute yeah. of the truth. Mm. Supposing and trying to get you to believe that gain is godliness. And you'll be surprised tonight at how many folk have turned away from God from simply listening to this foolishness saying that if you're going to serve God and not have nothing, y'all ain't saying that, then why are you serving God? First off, a lot of times when you're serving God and don't have nothing, it's not because of God. It's not God's fault. It's our fault. Because in addition to serving Him, we got to trust Him. In addition to trusting Him, we got to have faith. We got to do what is necessary to have something. It's not enough to just join the church. It's not enough to just go to church. But you you got to be obedient to the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Bible says, Amen. if you be faithful with a little, uh -huh. yeah. I'll make you rule over much. Uh -huh. And if God can't trust you with a little bit, uh -huh. it will go against his principle yeah. to give you a lot. All right. See, sometimes we don't know how to we messed up because we didn't know how folk were going to act. We couldn't, we couldn't anticipate or predict what change folk would make when they got something. Y'all ain't saying that. But God knows the heart. He knows all about us. And when he knows that he can't trust us with a little, y'all better get it. He knows not to give us a little. All right. Sometimes Amen. you have to do just to keep us having faith in him. Yeah. Sometimes you try stuff that work for other folk. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And it don't work for you. And God yeah. simply wants yeah. you to know that I don't want you trusting in that, yeah. but I want to trust in me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Some stuff will work. Yeah. It'll get you stuff. Yeah. But it won't get you peace. Yeah. Mm. He said, from such withdraw yourself. He didn't say argue with them. He didn't say dispute back with them. He simply said, withdraw yourself. Yeah. Listen, if you can't come like the Jehovah Witnesses now, if you can't, if I can't convert you, I ain't gonna let you convert me. All right, all right. The conversation is over when you get the upper hand. When you start trying to tell me some foolishness, we don't have to share information no more. All right. Godliness with contentment Amen. is great gain. Amen. If you really want to uh, have something, mm -hmm. get God first. Yeah. All right. uh, the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of its righteousness and all these things, whatever else you need. Added unto you. We added unto you. It did not say you'll get them all at one time. But it says seek. In other words, this word seek doesn't mean look one time. It means to it means to be perpetual. It's a continuous seeking. It's not like, oh, I heard about the Lord and I'm excited. Because that excitement won't hold you. That's why I don't understand folk who tell folk to repeat after me and then you're saying, and allow them to go on that way. That kind of say don't last long. Y'all ain't saying that. Because you got to have faith. And the scriptures say faith comes by hearing. Hearing. By hearing, hearing the word of God. The faith don't come by confessing. Confessing is what you do as a result of having the faith. Faith comes by hearing. And if you don't hear nothing,
And even if you have some faith, y'all better get this, you're going to eventually lose that faith because you're not hearing nothing. something is not the truth. Yeah. It's not according to God's word. Yeah. Either you're not going to have no faith or you're just going to have faith in whoever told you. Mm. All right. Godliness with contentment is great gain. That is to be able to say as long shut. As I got God, yeah. I got all I need. Yeah. Amen. Even that that I need and I can't see. Yeah. As long as I trust and obey God, yeah. I know he will make a way for us. Yeah. See, not like man, God, when he accepts us, yeah. he accepts full responsibility for yeah. us. Hence, he will not allow us to just die of hunger. He will not allow us as believers or obedient believers to have to sleep outdoors and naked. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Then he gives them a thought to really think about. He said, we brought nothing into this world. I don't care how much joints you got on that. What kind of suit you wear? Yeah. Nobody came in the world did that. Y'all ain't right, right. right. You, 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 you wasn't born. It, you know, you hear from them like they were born with a silver spoon. You have to put the silver spoon in there after they born. Y'all ain't say that. We, 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 we brought nothing to this Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Say you can carry nothing out. Yeah. And you know, there are some folk who are buried in Folk put jewelry on them, and I reckon you say they're carrying that out. No, they're not carrying that out. It's go, just going out with them because it can't move, and you can't either. Y'all ain't saying that. You understand? We brought nothing into the world. So whatever you have, whatever it is, that will come between you and God. Rather than even looking for it, if you let God bless you, God going to give you what you need. God is going to supply your needs. And I like some folk, you know there are folk who will tell you after the fact, oh, well, I don't know you needed something out of here. <laughs> like you didn't pass by and see their lights off. Y'all better get it. Like you didn't know that they didn't have nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know there are folk who tell you, if you need me, just call me. Yeah. How about if you know I need you, you just call, call me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Same day I buy, I promise to God I ain't lying. 
If you hit it the same day I buy, it's well with my soul. Y'all better get this. I, I don't buy nothing that I can't get loose from. I don't associate myself with people who I can't go home without. Y'all better get this. I don't, I, I just know that if I got God, I got all I need. And I'm not saying I don't love people. I'm not saying that I don't care about stuff, but I ain't gonna put nothing before God because anything that comes seen so many folks, somebody that quit you and tell about you can't eat. Nigga, I be cooking while you telling me to quit. Amen. 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 We brought nothing All right. into this world. Uh -huh. And it's sad. We can carry nothing out. Amen. Having food and clothes and stuff. You ought to be content. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, don't misunderstand discontentment now. Uh -huh. Don't mean because if you eat enough, them clothes ain't going to fit no more. I got some. <laughs> you, you understand? That food and clothes. But in other words, if you're not destitute, if you can get up and eat something and have strength enough to go look for a job, you yeah. still ought to be All right. All right. But the word ain't to them, the concern should not be. It should be just the idea that if God bless me with this, he can bless me with that. All right, now. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Nothing but the chance. Paul said on an occasion, I learned how to be a base. Yeah, yeah. And I learned how to abound. Otherwise, I can be down on the wall. Right. 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 He said, I uh, know how to be hungry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lord knows, I was going to show you today, I know how to get food. Yeah. <laughs> but in all this, he said, I've learned to be content. Con not content that this is all it is. But content that if anything else is required, God is All right, all right, amen. Oh, we got a good God, I'm telling you about it now. Hallelujah. Now, I'm just, I can close the book and tell you about it. Yeah. From my personal experience. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you're looking at now. You know the 50 year old broke up one. But I, I, done, I done worked some jobs two and three at a time. Amen. So I done worked and went to school full time, both working 10 hours a day, cooking my dinner in between. Y'all ain't saying that. And God has sustained me. And I tell you, I've had some of the best jobs. I've had some money. Then I've not had some money. Amen. And I done had some not so good jobs. Yeah. I told you when I got fired from the prison, I was working at a produce place and I had moved up to the head onion blower. <laughs> but you know, I, I, <laughs> but God is a good God. Oh, maybe that's why I don't like onions. <laughs> oh, we got a good God, I'm telling you. <laughs> Amen. We got a good God. Amen. Uh, testified one time some years ago. And I was working at the post office full time at the time. And I testified and I said, I thank God I don't need nothing. <laughs> and uh, shortly after I made a move and uh, transferred out to the prison to work. And, at the post office, you get all over town you wanted. You didn't have to go home back then. Right. And I went um, uh, making about four dollars an hour less, and uh, no overtime. And about eight months in, got fired. Mm. And I, that next Sunday was my Sunday to preach. 
And you think I done preached some long sermons. I think that still is my record the longest sermon I ever preached. And I know the devil still get mad when he think right. about that one because you thought you had me, but I got away. I still trusted God in everything. My family still ate. Y'all better get this. I still was a man. God is still good. Yes, he is. I'm telling folk that I didn't need nothing. To have to go in the library and sneak a, a book on how to file bankruptcy. And the lawyers wanted $700. I said, if I had $700, I wouldn't be bankrupt. <laughs> Amen. I filed it myself. Went from all need nothing to being bankrupt. But I ain't quit preaching. All right. I didn't quit believing. Amen. I didn't quit trusting in God. Amen. Oh, he brought me from a long way. Yes. Yes. He yes. Yes. sustained me. Y'all ain't saying When yes. I get better now, I, I ain't bankrupt no more. Y'all better get All this. Right. And I don't got to go to the bank to ask them. I can call them on the phone. Y'all better get this. Right. Now, I thank God that it ain't me. It's the God that I serve. It's the God that I trust. I still obey God. I don't cheat God on what God requires. I still give God what He requires. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I asked the Lord a long time ago. Don't never let preachers be how I make my living. Amen. I need to be free to tell the truth. Yeah. And when you tell the truth, you don't have that power. Right. You don't have right. power. Right. When you tell the truth, folks don't come on and yeah. they just get a yeah. pill down. How much they can yeah. have you. He sustained me. Yes, he yeah. well, uh, He said, We brought nothing. I got to get out of here. He brought nothing, having food and clothes. Yeah. Let us down, we'll be content. Yeah. Uh, he did not say, after all you walk in closets of food. Yeah. <laughs> This is not saying after you got all the clothes you got somewhere to put. Uh -huh. And when your freezers are running over and your clock, your cabinets won't close. But this is saying having period, food and rain, let us down with be content. We're living on well now where things have just changed. And folk used to be set aside one another. And you might have got a different flavor pot at me. Y'all ain't saying that, but we was all eating pot at me. And wasn't nobody trying to act like they were Because you done moved up this fam. Y'all ain't saying you so much better than somebody else. Amen. He said, the day that will be rich. Fall in the temptation. Man, I'll snap. It's a trap. Yeah. And the many foolish and hurtful lust. Which drown men into destruction and perdition. You will be destroyed when you have lust that are foolish and hurtful. Some folk got this mindset. I was listening to a lady live this morning who was talking about her grind and how she had to cut people out and don't see people and don't speak to people and don't let people in her world all to get whatever she's trying to get. But when you get all of that and you have stepped on people and you have disregarded right. folk and you have separated yourself, baby, you got to enjoy that by yourself. All right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Bible said, where no oxen are, the crib is clean. Yeah. But he said, then again, much strength come from the ox. Y'all ain't said that. So you cannot have no ox, so you don't have to clean a crib. But if you ain't got no ox to plow the ground, y'all better get it. Right. Then you're not going to have no food either. You're not going to have that. So sometimes the stuff that the people we try to shed out, very reason we don't have nothing. Yeah. You don't know everything. You can't do everything. Yeah. And there's a distinct difference in wanting to provide for your family and trying to be rich. Yeah. There's a distinct difference in wanting to have something of comfort 
and trying to be above everybody else. Yeah. For listen, he said, the love of money, and this is valuable advice, is misquoted all the time, but he says, for the love of money, not money itself, ain't nothing wrong with money, the love is the root of all evil. You know what the root is? That's where the beginning yeah, is. That's, yeah, right. it, that's where it starts at. The, yeah. the root is what holds it. All evil can be traced right back to money. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now when you wonder about our nation and what's going on now and why you think, oh, they're just putting their part over country. They're not, it looks like that. They're not putting their part over country. They're putting money over the country. Yeah. The love of money yeah. calls folk to sell to sell your safety, to sell your soul, to sell everything. All of them that have money. Amen. I yet wonder when they get all the money, mm -hmm. what good will it do them? Mm -hmm. Listen, if, if you work at the Cadillac place and put in their Cadillacs and you can't afford the Bible, y'all better get this. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, you're going to have to wonder who you're making them for. See, you got to pay somebody something in order for them to buy what you said. Yeah, yeah. All right. So when you overprice it, I don't care what your corporate greed is so bad. It's just, it's just acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I was going to pull my nose. I like to do that for a three, so in case you don't see something. I went to pull off some toilet paper off the road, and we love that. Scott been using it for years, but I can see through it. Mm -hmm. Little Debbie, you just got some sugar in law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything, the, the quality is less. The quality is less. They put it in the same big box and you got to deal your family with it. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. But they smart. Mm -hmm. Little Debbie kept the old molds, you know, the old pants. <laughs> so now when she said you're the jumbo ones, <laughs> all you're getting is what used to be the regular. Yeah, right. And the folks who work there still ain't got nothing. Still, got a still to the kick the heat in. When you get all the money, well, I mean, when the rich get all of it, yeah. what damn good will it be? Yeah. What will the problem man? The game, the whole world. Money confuse you. Sometimes you don't understand how money works. And you don't understand money, the perspective of money. You understand. Because that's the script even that said money answers everything. But there are some things that money don't answer. Right. And when you read stuff that's in the Psalms and Proverbs and in the Old Testament in certain places, you got to read it in context. You got to read it with the understanding of what they're saying. Money really don't answer everything. The scripture says some stuff you can't buy. In fact, the Proverbs even say that if a man kept you stealing his food, he can sympathize with you because you know you had to feed your family. He can tax you and find you to get his money back. But if he kept you with his wife, y'all better get that. Right. Ain't no ransom for that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Money don't buy everything. All right. It don't answer everything. No, man. You call and tell my well, let me, let me give you this money. I'm gonna get the money and I'm gonna still shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I mean the, the man. The love of money. It's the root of all evil. Which while some have coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Now I'm going to tell you if it's something that troubles me as a little pastor. When folk you have struggled with them, prayed with them, loaned them, gave them, done all you could for them, and then that period comes when they slack off. And then they disappear. Mm -hmm. And if you bump into them somewhere, they'll say, oh, Reverend, I've just been working so. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 are they paying you? <laughs> That's what I like to ask sometimes. Do they pay you? <laughs> you know what I mean? When you needed the church, and we took what was in the church and gave it to you to help you, you know, stay afloat, and then you take what you got and go do what you want to do. And then all of a sudden, when the money runs out, you find your 
your way back. Mm. I wouldn't be able to do it. Hallelujah. I at least have to go to another church. Right. I, I couldn't do it. Amen. Hello. Hello. Thank you. My name was messed for God. Yeah. You know what folks do? You fight with your friend and they got something and they talk about you can't trust nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Money make you think that way. You can trust the same people you can trust when you didn't have money. Right. Right. People, I mean, you'd be surprised. And I don't. I used to work, like I said, it's been a minute. And um, well, I used to work. If I worked uh, in the daytime on Sunday, most jobs you would be off on Wednesday night. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that. Mm. You know, God, I mean, you can either work day or night. Right. Right. And the, the time is so different. You understand that? <laughs> like, even if you work in day shift, we don't have service at 2 in the evening. Right. <laughs> Amen. I just be tired. That's my only off day. Oh, my God. You trust that God will sustain you five and six days a week on a job, and He can't hold you up to sit down for two hours. All right. Amen. That ain't faith. Amen. That's why he said you have to fight the good fight. You gotta, as, as, as Jews say, contend for the faith. Faith don't come easy. You got to contend for the faith. You gotta fight. You gotta get out of your mind what's in your mind. The scripture said we have to renew our mind. Amen. Amen. When flesh tells you I can't do it, I'm just dying. I've been tired before. I've done a Amen. bunch of stuff tired. I've been drawn 12 hours tired. We just like to make excuses. Amen. But you gotta fight. Amen. Good fight of faith. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The love of money is the root of all evil. Some he said have covered it up and air from the faith. Money will drive you far away from God. Your quest for money yeah. will cause you to disregard God. Yeah. I remember the uh, sister was asking me about, uh, you know, trying to change jobs and trying to find something to do. And, you know, back then I tried to let get everybody be correction officers because it was the only job I knew where you could go to school six months and make more than somebody who got a master's degree. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And they always tried to encourage folk to do it. And you had to high risk retirement and all that. Right. Right. Work all your life. And I, yeah. and, and I tried to talk her into that. And she said, oh, no, with my girls, I have to work at night. Yeah. Amen. So I said, well, yeah, you would have to work at night. I understand that. So she... Called me and said, Pastor, um, I know I'm saved and I, I know I'm saved. But I'm thinking about uh, getting a job as a bartender, a waitress, in the club at night where I could make more money. And, uh, And you know how soft I am. At first I said, oh, okay, then we'll be praying for you. <laughs> but the Lord wouldn't let myself self sleep that time. Mm. I called her right back politely <laughs> and told her, I said, no, I don't think it's all right. I said, because a couple of things. You, if you go your safe self and they're trying to party and the bartenders right. that make a lot of tips is the ones that's smiling at the people and think, making them think they got a chance. Y'all ain't saying that. Right. And if you shooting your uh, 23rd song nose up at them, you ain't gonna have nothing to Amen. Amen. The tip, hey, I mean, you just went over there and brought me this. The tip, hey. Mm, right. <laughs> I 
I don't, I don't need to keep the quarter change tip, all right. right. But the tip you talking about, ooh, they make good tips. That mm -hmm. tip ain't gonna come from you trying to be saved and have no long drinks on. All right. All right. Saving drinks and looking at folk like, ooh, God gonna get you. <laughs> all right. Lord. You ain't gonna have no tip, they gonna be able to tip yours. <laughs> Sometimes the decisions we make yes. Amen. is clearly evident that we don't have faith in God. Amen. Uh, the standards we hold ourselves to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's uh, not just the things we do for the money or yes. the mindset we have. Listen, God made us, and he says down here, further down here, he said God gave us those who got something, he gave it to us for our enjoyment. Yes. But not only is it for our enjoyment, but it's also to help somebody else. Everything God gave you, it wasn't for you. God yes. needs to trust that he, you can be a good steward with what he gave you. Don't you believe that if he gave you something one time, he can give you something else? All right. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Some of us, well, I ain't putting this, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. Do you really think that one day you, I know you done heard the deacon pray, but do you really think that one day you're going to hear him say, well done, if you didn't do well? God right right now. <laughs> do you really think that God is going to say, well done, good, faithful servant, when you were not a good and faithful servant? Said the good old man of God flee these things. Yeah, yeah. Follow out the righteousness. Listen, here's your key. Godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. And all of this, you it's hard to find these qualities in folk that got money. That's why when Jesus talked to the rich round the ruler and told him, sell everything you have and give to the poor, the scripture said he came all excited, looking for a way to live forever. And when Jesus told him what he needed to do, he went away sorrowfully. Mm. He said, how hundreds so of they didn't have riches? And it's not because they were rich or because they had riches. It's because of how they felt about those riches. Most rich folk like being rich. Amen. And most times they like being rich to the extent that they're so afraid to get, that if they give you anything, if they do anything for you, that they won't be rich anymore. And some folk just for the sake of clearing their conscience, they'll give something. Mm. And I'm going to show you something. You know, when you think about uh, the money that rich folk sent out of this country to Africa, yeah. mm -hmm. to third world countries, uh -huh. or for the sake of their conscience. Mm -hmm. You understand that? And, 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 and the real reason they sent it over there is because they're too afraid that if they give it to somebody over here, you'll come up. All mm -hmm. right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't mind giving it to somebody who will never be in competition with them. Y'all understand that? How do you know somebody's hungry in Africa? And why did that trouble you? Because you would never have to see them, but you can walk down the street and see somebody hungry and you ship it something to Africa. Carry them again to home and then it's friends. Take care of home before you send anything anywhere. Amen. Amen. I marvel even at these churches we have. Mm -hmm. Black folks trying to do what they see white folk doing. Yeah. Come out, taking up a foreign mission. <laughs> he, ooh. Get me, God, right there. Your pastor ain't even got shoes to wear. And you come out sending something to foreign mission. It is foreign. Your own mission is foreign. Uh, foreign mission. Hmm. Wait, wait. Same token. Folk going uh, overseas and making these trips. I remember one time my cousin went to Greece 
and they're going to all these places. How y'all going to go teach the Bible where the Bible started at? <laughs> right. Some fun wow. this wow. You want to play soccer and basketball with little children overseas and ain't playing with your own children. Mm -hmm.